Hey guys, my name is Gabby. Welcome back to my channel and today I wanted to recommend you some big book recommendations as well as let you know about some of the ones that are on my TBR. <laughs> Lately in the world, I feel like people are finding themselves with a lot of spare time and a lot of spare reading time and maybe this is a good time to read some of the biggest books on your TBR because, you know, you've never had more free time than you do now, right? So I thought it would be fun to recommend you some of my favorite big books and I personally consider any book that's over 500 pages to be pretty big. I mean, I'm intimidated by big books, like I will say that because they are a time commitment for sure, but I have read some really great bigger books that are over 500 pages and so I thought I would recommend you some if you're looking for some and also let you know about some of the ones that I'm looking forward to and that I might read while I have so much free time. Yeah, before we jump into it though, did you notice how freaking cute my shirt is? <laughs> I wanted to say a huge thank you to Thread Red Tank for sending me three different shirts. Red Tank is doing this really cute series of shirts on their website right now called Stories You Can Wear. And so they sent me three of their shirts to try out. I really love this book club one in this like pinky salmon color. And then I also got this really cute one that says Well Read and this really other adorable one that says Sorry My Night Is Booked. It's really nice too because their shirts are designed and printed in house and they're made to order by their wonderful production team. They use quality ink and t-shirts that'll withstand the test of time and washes and I'm really excited because Thread Tank is offering you you guys a 10% discount when you go to their website and use the code Gabby10 so that you can get one of your own shirts and they're like super cute and we can be twinning so I will link down below the website as well as the three shirts that I personally got if you want to match with me they have so many different cute designs like honestly I struggled to pick the three that I did because they have so many freaking cute ones and I just love owning nerdy book shirts like it honestly just makes my life so much better thank you so much to thread tank for sending me three of these i really love these shirts like i'm probably gonna wear them like every single day all right so let's go ahead and jump into my big book recommendations so the very first big book recommendation that i have is a little life by hanya yanagihara because this book comes in at 814 pages this is one of my favorite books of all time i talk about this book a lot on my channel so you probably have heard something of it. A literary fiction novel kind of book that follows these four guys through their lifetime. It mainly follows this character Jude and this book has some of the most gorgeous writing I've ever read in my whole life and I just got sucked into this story and it took me about a week to get through this because it was just so sad and honestly this is one of the most depressing sad books I've ever read in my life but after this you'll never enjoy another book ever again. You know, that's what they say and it's true. My next big book recommendation is gonna be Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. This copy comes in at a 777 pages. So it is pretty chunky even though it's kind of a smaller book. If you've never taken the time to read the classic Little Women, then maybe now is the perfect time. I just recently read this book myself last month and I really, really enjoyed it. And this one is a classic novel, if you don't know. It follows the four sisters, the March sisters. And Joe March is one of the most relatable characters of all time for me. Like, she's just the best. Another big book recommendation is The Heart's Invisible Furies by John Boyne. This one isn't too bad. It comes in at a whopping 580 pages. And this one is also one of my favorite novels of all time. This one's like a historical fiction slash literary fiction book. It follows this man named Cyril who is born in Ireland in the 1950s in a very conservative church-like community in the Catholic Church. He is gay and they do not accept him and it is a very difficult story to read about because of that but I think it's also like it's so great to read those books that follow someone from like their childhood all the way through their entire life like it's just really interesting and it really like puts things into perspective for me like I don't know I just really love to read about that and this book just made my heart hurt and it made me so happy and I just <sighs> Another big book recommendation that I have for you is Imaginary Friend by Stephen Shabotsky. This book comes in at 705 pages, which makes it pretty thick. This is a book that I read last October that I think was just so much fun. Like if you're in the mood for a good like thriller horror, like you want to be scared, then I would definitely recommend this because this book made me afraid of deer, which is a weird thing to say. But oh my god, I just love this book so much. Like I will admit the last like 150 pages or so 
really loses it and it's not so great at the end but the first 500 pages of this book are so worth it to me because the first 500 pages is some of my favorite horror that I've ever read and it was just so creepy and I was obsessed. You knew that I would have to include some Stephen King on this big book recommendation list so I'm gonna recommend you The Shining which comes in at 659 pages as well as It by Stephen King which is to this date the longest book I've ever read and this one comes in at 1,152 pages. Yeah, so both of these books are my favorite long Stephen King books that I've read, not Cough, Doctor Sleep. I read both of these a couple of years ago and The Shining is one of my favorite movies of all time and I do think that the movie of The Shining is better than the book in my opinion, but the book is still really a lot of fun and it's very long, but I just really love this story so much. And it is a crazy time. I mean, I know like there's a lot of controversy with this book and I definitely don't recommend for that last, you know, scene that happens with the kids. You know what I'm talking about if you've read it. But otherwise, I thought this book was really fun. It's just such a classic because Pennywise is just so scary and interesting and I just loved most of this book like there are definitely some slower parts like it's not a perfect book but it was definitely still a fun time for me so i think if you've ever wanted to read it by stephen king now is probably the time i also do have some thrillers that i'd like to recommend one of them being night film by marisha pestle this one comes in at 587 pages so not too bad but this one is really interesting because it follows this creepy director and then his daughter like recently committed suicide or did she? And it follows like a journalist who's trying to discover what actually happened and this director is known for having some like really weird shit happen on his film sets. I don't know, everything about this book was so fascinating to me, like I really really enjoyed this one. And then another thriller I wanted to recommend is Long Bright River by Liz Moore. This one actually isn't that long. This one's only 464 pages, so this one isn't even that long, but because this one feels more of like a literary fiction mystery, it kind of reads like it feels longer than it is, if that makes sense. This book is so freaking good, like so amazing, highly recommend. And this one follows this girl who is a police officer, and then it also follows her sister who is like a drug addict who is struggling. And her sister, the drug addict sister, has gone missing. And so now we follow from the female cop's point of view as she tries to find out what happened to her sister and she's thinking the worst. And it's just very, very interesting. It's so freaking good. And then the last books of the ones that I've read that I want Wanted to recommend is this series of Vicious and Vengeful. This is book one and this is book two and on their own these books aren't that long. Vicious is only 364 pages and then Vengeful is 492 pages but together they make a pretty long story and they're part of a series and I just think that if you haven't read these books like you need to read these books now because they're so freaking good and this series is like a sci-fi kind of fantasy series that follows these two guys Victor and Eli and they're kind of like borderline superheroes super villains like you don't really know where they fall because their morality is just skewed and they're just so much fun. They're some of my favorite books of all time and I just think if you haven't read this series, like now is the time. Now I'm going to jump into all the books that I have on my personal TBR of books that are pretty big, that are over 500 pages. <laughs> the first one is gonna be Middle Game by Shauna McGuire. This one is just barely over 500 pages because this one comes in at 523 pages. So this one isn't too long, but this one's definitely on my TBR, but I'm scared to read this one because it's out of my comfort zone because it's kind of like a sci-fi-ish fantasy book that I just don't know if I'm gonna like or not but I have seen some people compare this book to Vicious so I think that's kind of why I bought this book and why it's still on my TBR because I'm so curious about it. I also really would like to read House of Leaves because this book is considered like a classic horror novel. This one comes in at 662 pages so this one is pretty massive but I would really like to save this book though for a time of year when it's like spooky out you know when I can really just get into it but again this book is told in such a weird unconventional style though because it has like random weird pages and weird graphics like I don't know it's not your typical 
conventional story and that kind of adds to the horror of it, I guess. So I definitely still want to read this one sometime soon. I also have the book Dune by Frank Herbert, which this is a classic sci-fi novel that I have not read. I really don't even know what this is about. <laughs> and this one comes in at 658 pages. So this one is pretty long. Look at the blue edges. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. This book is just goddamn beautiful and it kind of adds to why I want to read it honestly. But I also do really want to read this book soon because the movie adaptation for this book is supposed to be coming out in December. So I really really want to see it because it's going to be directed by Denis Villeneuve who's one of my favorite directors. So I really want to read the book before I see the movie so hopefully that will happen. Alright next up I have a few different Stephen King that are on my TBR that are pretty long. The first one is Salem's Lot. This one is 653 pages and I would really like to read this one because mainly because I'm just curious honestly. I know this was one of his first published books in the 1970s and this one I'm kind of curious about this one because it follows like vampires like I know that that's what the main thing is about in this one but I'm not a huge fan of like reading about vampires so I don't know if I'm gonna like this but I'm really curious to read it anyways then I also have 11 22 63 which is freaking massive this one is 849 pages like holy crap that is a commitment but this is one that I'm really excited to read because almost everybody is saying that I'm really gonna enjoy this one at least people that are commenting on my Stephen King re reading vlogs everybody keeps recommending me this one and I know that this one's slightly different because it's kind of a historical fiction time travel kind of book which is totally different from anything else I've read from Stephen King so Definitely planning on reading this one in the next couple of months, probably. Really excited about it. And then another Stephen King is The Institute, which this one's a lot more recent, you know. This one isn't that bad either. This one's 557 pages. So, like, it's long, but it's not that long. And this one I'm really excited to read because a lot of people I've seen compare this to, like, Stranger Things. It follows a bunch of kids who have, like, weird magical abilities. And that's pretty much all I know and that's all I need to know. One thriller that I have on my TBR that is a little bit longer of a book is The Chestnut Man. This one isn't that bad either. This one's 516 pages so I thought it was a little bit longer just because it looks so thick but it just says a psychopath is terrorizing Copenhagen. His calling card is a chestnut man and handmade dolls made of matchsticks and two chestnuts which he leaves at each bloody crime scene. So this one kind of follows a serial killer who is known as like the chestnut man. I really do want to read this. The only reason why I've been like putting it off for a while is because I've heard that there's like a detective kind of point of view in here. And so that's the only reason why I like hesitate to pick it up because I don't know if I'm going to like it. But I definitely want to read this one soon. <laughs> and then the last book that I have on my TBR of books that are more massive is The Most Fun We Ever Had by Claire Lombardo. This one isn't that bad either. It comes in at 532 pages. And I do think that I'm actually going to be doing a reading vlog for this book very soon. At least that's in my plans hopefully maybe this month maybe april i don't know but i really would like to read this book soon because it sounds like something i'm really gonna love and it's kind of like a literary fiction contemporary fiction novel that follows this couple marilyn and david who fall in love in the 1970s but then it takes place in 2016 and it's following their four radically different daughters i think it also kind of has to do with one of the daughters giving up her son for adoption and kind of like how that affects the family and i don't know i've just seen this book a lot compared to like little fires everywhere and ask again yes and a lot of my other favorite like literary fiction books like that so i'm really excited to read this let me know your thoughts if you've read this book because i'm probably going to be reading this one very soon those are all of the big books that I have to recommend to you and the ones that are on my TBR. Maybe you should let me know which book you want to see as my next Stephen King reading vlog because I am planning on doing one for April. So I haven't really decided though which one of these is going to be the next one that I read. I'm torn between Salem's Lot, 11, 22, 63, and The Institute. So if you have any preference, you can let me know which book you'd like me to read next month and then maybe... I will take your preference into consideration. That is all for this video, so please let me know what are some bigger books that you would recommend to other people that might be intimidated by big books, and what are some of the bigger books that you have on your TBR maybe that you're hoping to accomplish and read while you're having so much more free time lately. And as usual, thank you guys so much for watching as always, and thank you so much again to Thread Tank for sending me these cute shirts, like I'm literally obsessed. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching as always, and I will see you very soon with a new video. Bye!